My love of photography started at school um, and as I was growing up on the beaches of Australia, I really got into surf and beach lifestyle photography. But it wasn't until I came to Wellington, New Zealand to work at Wetter Effects, I discovered nature and, and everything around it and especially the night skies. And that's when my love really took off. I spent a lot of hours out under the night sky taking photos all night long sometimes and, and rocking up at work the next day is like feeling like I had a hangover because I've been up all night. It's just incredible taking photos like that. I started as a junior draftsman and runner in an architectural office uh, to start with, but then I sort of started to grow towards graphic design and then I've started to pursue that. And from graphic design, I got more interest in 3D animation. I'd done a little bit of freelance stuff personally, but this uh, visual effects company on, on the Gold Coast in Australia, um, they took me on, took me under their wing. I learned some stuff, I built up a bit of a showreel and you know, after I left there, I was able to go on to other visual effects firms in Australia. We're all working in Australia on, on you know, some TV shows and things like that, and then all these trailers starting to drop for Lord of the Rings, and we're just sort of blown away by it and going amazing. One of my co-workers had actually gone to Weta and, and started working on it. And at the end of that, he asked me and said, hey, are you interested in coming over for the third Lord of the Rings because they're hiring? And at that point I thought, well, you know, what have I got to lose? And, and I applied and I, and I got a job. I started off as a lighting TD um, and then I worked my way through and ended up as a lighting lead on King Kong, digital effects supervisor, sequence supervisor, and then I've worked my way right up to a visual effects supervisor. The best piece of advice, career advice I've been given is allowing yourself to be inspired. You kind of have to look outside the box, outside of you know the direction that you're interested in and let yourself experience other things. I didn't come to New Zealand say I'm going to do astrophotography. It's something I came across when I was out at Castle Point, um, not far from here one night and looked up at the night sky and thought, how do I take a photo of that? My first attempts were big fails, uh, but since then I was determined to, to learn the craft. One night I saw a moonrise happening over Mount Victoria. And as the moon rose, it, it, it revealed the silhouettes of people. And so I basically tried it for a year to try and get that shot. And running around Wellington with a big super telephoto lens, uh, a lot of people looking at you strangely. But eventually I, I got the shot and turned it into like a three minute real time video. Posted it online and the next day it just went viral. Really gave me some exposure that, that particular year I entered couple of photos into the Astronomy Photographer of the Year and I ended up winning the whole thing overall which just blew me away. I also had invitations to travel the world and, and um, you know take photos and do workshops. Um, I was asked to do a TEDx talk which I did. Um, so it's, it's just been over the last 10 to 12 years it's just been one you know amazing experience after another and it's, it's just crazy how things like that can happen if you allow yourself to be inspired.